Hi, I'm Jim St. Ledger from Intel Corporation, and I'm here in beautiful Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2014. One of the big themes we've seen this year is building on what was exposed last year, Network Functions Virtualization, or NFV. It's really taking the telco industry by storm and you're seeing it everywhere. As we walked the show floor, we noticed that NEC was showing a virtualized Evolve Packet Core. So we've stopped in today to see what their VEPC is doing. I'm here with Hadasaki san to talk about that. Hadasaki san thank you for your time today. Welcome I appreciate to, you having a few minutes for okay. us. Welcome to NEC and the Hubei site. Thank you. Yeah. So I see you're showing a virtualized mm -hmm. EPC. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us a little bit about the work you've done and this project? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we are showing the NEC, the first NFV solution, uh, which called as uh, a virtual EPC, which providing a mobile core network function uh, on the virtualization environment. And the uh, NEC virtual EPC has already launched the commercial services uh, in Southeast Asia in last year. Okay. So that our system is already stable and highly reliable. So you have this in, in trial deployments or commercial deployments today? Uh, yes. In Southeast Asia, that's amazing. Yeah. So you clearly are on the front edge of the NFE deployments in the industry then? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So what kind of problems does, it, does NFV concept and the virtualized EPC solve for your customers? Okay, so uh, typically uh, virtualization environment like a hypervisor uh, could cause an uh, unacceptable acceptable latency and delay and lower performance. But uh, NEC has improved the uh, hypervisor performance to provide the uh, network performance capable latency and performance. Right. And also the NEC and Intel have co-worked to enhance the data plan packet processing performance by taking the Intel significant DPDK technology. Okay. So that uh, we can realize a nice network operator acceptable enough performance even on the virtualization environment. That's terrific, okay. Yeah. So by using DPDK, mm -hmm. um, some special optimizations for virtualization, yeah. you're able to get the performance results, the latency, et cetera, down to telco standards. Sure, yeah. That's terrific, outstanding. One other question for you. Um, what's your view of NFV overall? How do you see it um, rolling out in the industry and being adopted? Okay, so uh, many vendors uh, right now uh, announced that uh, they have new virtualization technology, uh, but uh, NEC believe NFV purpose is not to virtualize the existing network function, but also that we need to leverage the virtualization technology by adding the virtualization advantage like uh, additional reliability and also the service agility by deploying, uh, by providing the various virtualized appliances onto the NEC open virtualization environment. So that uh, this could be the new revenue creation. So operator and the end user can get uh, many benefits, we believe. So. Terrific, yeah, well we're anxious to see and follow um, as NEC progresses in technology over the next year or so. And yeah. son, thank you very much thank for you your very time. Much. If you'd like to learn more about NEC's virtual EPC solution, please visit NEC online. From Mobile World Congress, this is Jim St. Ledger, thanks.